November 9th, 2018 marked the completion of the multi-million dollar renovation of the UPMC Sports Medicine Center, culminating in its reopening as the UPMC Freddie Fu Sports Medicine Center. World-renowned Dr. Freddie Fu is the David Silver Professor and Chair of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the University of Pittsburgh and is the world's foremost authority on ACL reconstruction. For his research on the individualized anatomic ACL reconstruction concept, Dr. Fu was awarded the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons Kappa Delta Award, a commendation considered the Nobel Prize of Orthopedics. For his research achievements, coupled with his leadership and extensive contributions to clinical medicine, resident and fellow education, and service to the University of Pittsburgh, Dr. Fu is recognized with the university's highest rank as a distinguished service professor. After completing his undergraduate education in the first two years of medical school at Dartmouth University, Dr. Fu arrived in the steel city of Pittsburgh in 1975. He completed his residency training in orthopedic surgery at the University of Pittsburgh under the mentorship of former chairman, Dr. Albert B. Ferguson. It was Dr. Ferguson that charged a young Dr. Fu to look after the many athletes in the sports town of Pittsburgh. With his characteristic enthusiasm, Dr. Fu fast became a pioneer in the emerging field of sports medicine and served as the team physician for Mount Lebanon and Central Catholic High Schools, as well as the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater, while catalyzing the founding of the Pittsburgh Marathon. In 1986, Dr. Fu was appointed head team physician for all of Pitt Athletics. With now over 32 years of caring for countless athletes, it is a role that he still maintains, and he is a regular fixture at the many Pitt sporting events. Under Dr. Fu's leadership, the first sports medicine office opened in 1986 on Myron Avenue in the heart of the Oakland neighborhood. As sports medicine grew as a discipline, many fellows from the United States and around the world came to Pittsburgh to learn from Dr. Fu. Over the past 30 years, Dr. Fu has trained over 1,000 international fellows and 150 American fellows, not to mention hundreds of residents. With an expanding patient population and a reputation as a leader in sports medicine, the Center for Sports Medicine was relocated to Baum Boulevard in North Oakland, where it stood from 1988 until the turn of the century. Recognizing the solidified position of Pitt and UPMC as a global leader in sports medicine, coupled with a desire to reinvigorate the economy of the once booming steel town of Pittsburgh, Dr. Fu was instrumental in the partnering of UPMC and the Pittsburgh Steelers to establish the UPMC Sports Performance Complex, built on 80 acres in the south side along the Monongahela River, where steel mills once stood. First of its kind, the Center for Sports Medicine is a one-stop shop for patients, including a clinic for outpatient office visits, a designated rehabilitation area for physical therapy, and the world's first concussion clinic. Down the street is the shared training facility for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Pitt Panthers, making the Southside Complex the epicenter of Pittsburgh sports medicine. Founded in 1936 by Pittsburgh Post-Gazette sports editor Al Abrams, the Dapper Dan organization has evolved from a businessman sports club into one of the region's most recognizable pillars of charity. For his longtime contributions to sports medicine and the Pittsburgh community, Dr. Fu received the Dapper Dan Sports Leadership Award in 2012. Thereafter known as the Freddie Fu Sports Leadership Award, this year's honoree was David Morehouse, President and CEO of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Under the leadership of Mr. Morehouse and owners Mary Lemieux and Ronald Burkle, the Pittsburgh Penguins partnered with UPMC in 2015 to open the UPMC Lemieux Sports Performance Complex just north of downtown. Like its predecessor on the south side, the Lemieux Sports Performance Complex is a state-of-the-art facility with outpatient offices, physical therapy and sports performance areas, two hockey rinks, and designated training spaces for the Penguins. Given his unmatched leadership and his countless contributions to sports medicine, from patient care to research to education, it is only fitting that the UPMC Sports Medicine Center now bears his name. On November 9, 2018, surrounded by family, friends, patients, and colleagues, Dr. Fu was rightly recognized for his contributions to sports medicine, UPMC, the university, and the city of Pittsburgh. Good evening and thank you all for coming. My name is Brian Hagan. I'm the VP and Administrator for Centers for Rehab Services and UPMC Sports Medicine Services. I'm thrilled to share with you today. We have some very exciting things happening at UPMC Sports Medicine. 
First, our newly renovated sports center. Uh, if you look around, we're blessed and most appreciative of the best facilities, technology in, in the country, right here in Pittsburgh at UPMC Sports Medicine. I'd like to extend a personal thank you um, on behalf of Sports Medicine to Mr. John Inneseni, our president um, of Presbyterian Shadyside, and Jared Weiner, our CFO, um, and the entire executive management team. <clears throat> they have um, been extremely supportive of sports medicine services all the way up to uh, Mr. Jeff Romoff. Um, I also would like to thank Kathleen Nockhazel and Andrew Morgan for their tireless efforts as we've gone through a renovation project for the last six months. Um, Whiting Turner was our uh, construction management team. Also a special thank you to them. They did a fantastic job uh, pulling everything together. Sports medicine is really quite synonymous with Formula One racing and NASCAR racing. Um, we have the best vehicle. We have the most horsepower. We have the best technology in our operations and facilities. But in order to have a winning team, it has to be coupled with the best world-class driver. We're here to celebrate that we have the top world-class driver and Dr. Freddie Fu. <laughs> to help us commemorate this special occasion, we are fortunate to have another top sports icon in his own right, the voice of the Pittsburgh Panthers, lead our celebration. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Bill Hillgrove. Thank you, Brian. It's always great to be part of a monumental uh, occasion. This is certainly that. And uh, it's wonderful to look around and see people I haven't seen for a while, with one exception. My partner on the pit broadcasts, along with Dick Grote, Curtis Aiken is here tonight. Curtis? He asked me, we have a game tonight. Do you have a police escort? I said, no. In Pittsburgh, you learn how to alley drive. Thank you for being here. Before we begin with our speakers, we have a special message from UPMC President and CEO, UPMC, Jeffrey Romoff. Mr. Romoff could not be here in person today, but he wanted to convey his personal thanks to Dr. Fu. Let's take a look. Pleasure today to congratulate Dr. Freddie Fu on the renaming of our sports medicine building on his behalf. This is not only an honor for Dr. Fu, but it is very much an honor for UPMC. Dr. Fu is in fact the creator of sports medicine for UPMC, for most of the region, and one of the leading lights in the nation and the world. I have to say that I met Dr. Fu decades ago and Dr. Fu came to me to say, I have this great idea, we need to do sports medicine. The only problem was he came to probably the only person in Pittsburgh that knew nothing about sports. And I kept asking myself, why should we do sports medicine? Whereupon Dr. Fu educated me and told me this wasn't as much about sports as it was about taking care of the citizens of our region who encounter all kinds of injuries and providing cutting edge treatment and cutting edge research. We are exceptionally pleased to have Dr. Fu here and we believe that naming this building after him is a credit to UPMC and a credit to Dr. Fu. As you probably know, Dr. Fu has been with the university for more than 30 years. He has developed many lifelong personal and professional relationships. Our first speaker knows Dr. Fu very well and can attest to Freddie's profound impact on this university, also its faculty, also its students. It is my pleasure to present to you Pitt Chancellor Dr. Patrick Gallagher. Thank you, Bill. Take care of that voice. You have a game to call tonight. So, so we're all standing here today uh, because, well, maybe because Freddie has fixed one or both of your knees. But uh, more seriously, we're here because uh, we're dedicating a lasting tribute to Freddie, uh, one that I know he richly deserves. 
most of you know that Freddie is dedicated to his craft. Uh, he's an expert. Uh, he's also an artist. And uh, I will tell you, I don't know how he fits all of this in. Um, in the residence, in the Chancellor's residence, we have an entire hallway dedicated to pictures that Freddie has taken from around Pittsburgh. Um, and uh, he also holds seven titles at Pitt, which seems like some kind of record. And that doesn't include his most famous unofficial title, which of course is one of the foremost authorities in ACL surgery in the world. Between taking uh, great pictures, Freddie also writes, he teaches, and he shares his knowledge. Uh, he is the author of more than 570 peer-reviewed articles, 173 book chapters, and 30 orthopedic textbooks on the management of sports injuries. He has a pretty good knack for healing people, as all good doctors do. In fact, he has performed more than 20,000 surgeries, a total that includes at least 6,000 uh, ACL repairs. And in that grand total, there's at least uh, one monkey. Uh, as I understand, he performed arth arthroscopic surgery on a furry little fellow named Johnny from the Pittsburgh Zoo at one point. But uh, more than anything, I'm grateful that Freddie found his way from Hong Kong to Pittsburgh and to Pitt, where he attended medical school uh, and where he has played an incredible role uh, within our university community. During his career so far, he has helped countless athletes perform their very best, and he has managed to carve out a similarly prestigious record of success for himself. He has earned the equivalent of the Nobel Prize in orthopedic research with the, the Kappa Delta Elizabeth Winston Lanier Award, and he has earned a spot in the American Orthopedic Society for Sports Medicine's Hall of Fame, just to name a few. Freddie is also the powerhouse in both talent and passion behind the launch of the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex, which was previously called the Sports and Preventative Med Medicine Institute. And it has been under his leadership that this institute has grown to be one of the largest and one of the most highly regarded research and sports medicine centers in the world. So it's fitting that this complex, which is so much a result of his vision and his hard work, uh, now bears his name. Um, Freddie, I could uh, go on. Uh, as you know, you've done a lot. But I just want to say to you uh, personally and to Hilda, um, thank you for your friendship. Uh, thank you for everything that you have given to Pitt and to Pittsburgh and to the entire world of sports medicine. Um, and we know that with your help and now with your name, we will continue to draw some of the brightest, smartest, and most talented people to this area as we grow stronger as a university and as a region. So congratulations, and it only seems fitting but I now take your picture, Freddie. So, <laughs> so there we go. All right. Thank you, Chancellor. This young man has been an integral part of the university's athletic program and has treated countless athletes. One of those athletes overcame significant knee injuries throughout his career and here today to express his appreciation to Dr. Fu, would you please welcome former NFL and Pitt star, cornerback Steve Israel. Normally when you uh, come in occasions like this, people say, oh, it's such an honor to be here. And sometimes people say it, but do they really truly meet it in their heart? Well, I'm here to let you know it's straight from the heart for me. It's an honor to be here to share this unbelievable occasion with all of you, but especially the man of the hour. So often when you go to community situations where it's a charitable event, you hear them speak about the three T's, time, treasure, and your talents. I'm here to say, and I'm sure you all will agree, all three of those is embodied into Dr. Fu. He represents all three. And when you can represent one, that's great. That's normally all they need from the crowd. Everybody pick one of the T's and chime in and we work together as a team and then things come out and you're able to accomplish things. Well, when you're a person that has more than one, you have two, but if you have all three, you end up having situations like we're here today 
having a building renamed after you. That's why Dr. Fu is who he is. But today I want to share with you a couple quick stories. I want you to think of relationships, trust, and then action. When special things are going on, they start with relationships, right? And then it builds. It builds into trust. Once that relationship is built and it builds into trust, and then it goes into action. You're able to take action on things. Well, it was a freshman kid, 1987. He would see the doctor walking fast, which I'm sure all of you would agree, <laughs> walking fast. And what he didn't know is as an eighth grader, sixth grader, seventh grader, I wore a tie to school at least twice a week. And I didn't go to a private school. Why? Because I like ties. You know, I said I was going to be a businessman when I grow up. So when I got to Pitt, I would see Dr. Fu. Nobody had suits and ties like Dr. Fu. <laughs> so I would always say, Doc, let me see that tie. And you know, he would take two seconds. So I'm like, oh, I knew it. It's Armani. And he'd <laughs> smile and laugh. And he would keep walking. Little did I know that two years later, our relationship was going to change from me complimenting him on his ties to him wiping tears from my eyes because I'm in West Virginia with my knee ripped up. Now, I've seen, I've seen him do the ACL check at least three to four times at that point. But now I find myself on the field, and he's doing the check on me. And I'm staring at his face, and he looks at then the second in charge, it was Rick Burkholder, and Rob Blank is our head trainer. And can you believe it? Rob is still here. Is Rob in here? He is coming. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> and so uh, he knows it. I'm terrified. Why? Not because my knee hurts, but because during that time, you rip your knee up, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be the same player again. Well, I just want to fast forward you. Dr. Fu, in his office, he assured me, he said, I fix you. You'll be pro player. What he didn't know at that time, he was only the second person who told me that. Because, you know, this is my first year starting in college. My father told me before I went to school, I know you want to be a businessman, but pro careers end fast. You ain't got to worry about that, buddy. I think you're good enough. You're, you're like Superman. You should go for it. And that meant a lot to me coming from my father. But guess what? Dr. Fu told me. And when he told me, that's where the trust came in. I trust him. I believed him. He didn't look down. He didn't pause. He looked me dead in my eye and said, you'd be pro player. I fix you. Guess what? <laughs> he did. He did. And these are stories that you don't hear. All of you heard of the NFL Combine, correct? Right. Well, I want you to know, I guarantee you to this day, they still haven't seen a knee at the Combine like mine's. They made me stay an extra day. Normally, you have to stay an extra day if you have an injury. I had to stay an extra day just because they treated my knee like a trophy. They didn't care about Steve Israel. They just cared about Freddie Foo's knee. Every station I went to, other teams would say, hey, 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 look at this. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Freddie Fu. And I was happy to come home and tell Doc all of this. Anyway, uh, it meant the world to me. Everyone has goals and dreams. I just want you to know Dr. Fu not only helped me, but it meant a lot to my family to help me with my goals and dreams. Years went on. No matter what happened to me, I would consult with Dr. Fu. I ripped my ankle up. Doc, what should I do? He said, Tim Finney. Let Tim Finney do it. That's who did my ankle. My point is, not just my knee. My brother went to University of Temple. Who did his knee? Dr. Fu. In closing, relationship, trust, action. It allowed me to put action to what Dr. Fu has done for me. And We've continued our relationship. I played 10 years in the NFL. Obviously, I come back and I visit Dr. Fu. We stay in contact. Uh, I knew that he went to Dartmouth at a young age. And I told my daughter, Avery, 
who was born at McGee Women's Hospital. You're going to go to Ivy League school. You know Dr. Fu? You know, yeah. And my whole family knows Dr. Dr. Fu went to Ivy League school. He went to Dartmouth. You know, today my daughter graduated from Columbia. She lives in New York. Uh, we took, last summer, we took a picture. Out, I have it in my phone. We took a picture out at the stand. Who would have known a year later that same picture was, will not reveal the same name? You remember that, Doc? Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, thank you for allowing me to share this unbelievable time with you. And uh, it couldn't happen to a more awesome person. Thank you. Thank you, Steve Israel. I owe Steve money. He was injured for the 1989 Sun Bowl in El Paso. So guess what? He spotted for the University of Pittsburgh radio crew. I couldn't pay him at the time because of NCAA re regulations. <laughs> Steve, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll get down to Chupka's and I'll buy you a, an Iron City. How's that? <laughs> Steve Israel. One of Dr. Fu's many contributions to UPMC and Pitt is the Sports Medicine Fellowship Program. That attracts physicians from all over the world to learn surgical techniques, conduct research with Dr. Fu and his colleagues in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. Dr. Volker Musau is UPMC's Chief of Sports Medicine and Program Director for the Sports Medicine Fellowship. Would you welcome, please, Dr. Musau. Thank you. 30 plus years of teaching the world how to do ACL. Harvard, Columbia, Hospital for Special Surgery, Duke, UCLA. Those just happen to be the top five programs by number of fellows they sent here to UPMC to work with Freddie Fu. I'm humbled <coughs> to be the director of the Sports Medicine Fellowship. Um, consider one of the top fellowships, not just in the country, but in the world building surgeons, building sports medicine specialists, and an unprecedented number of leaders in the field come out of this fellowship. I'm wearing today this tie that shows the steel eye beam uh, as part of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery logo. And this tie is worn by more than 120 fellows from more than 30 states, uh, more than 250 residents, and uh, about 50 of those going into sports medicine and almost 1,000 fellows uh, worldwide from countries like Brazil, Switzerland, Sweden, China, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Netherlands, Germany. I could go on and on. So <clears throat> with this, you know, thank you, Dr. Fu, for teaching and training us, Sports Medicine Fellow 2003, right here. Um, this honor is uh, well-deserved and long overdue. Thank you. Brian, would you come back up, please? Volker, come on up. Jay, come on up. Um, as the Chancellor mentioned, um, Dr. Fu is a world-renowned surgeon and sports medicine expert, but he is also a world-renowned photographer, at least in our mind. Um, the photos that you see um, on the screen were taken by Dr. Fu, and there are many more incredible photos. Um, on behalf of myself, Jay Ergang, who's been here from the beginning as well, and Volker, we'd like to present you with a small token to remember tonight to put on your desk. So this is a plaque um, embedded in glass of a picture that Dr. Fu took from across the river of the Sports Medicine Center with the new name UPMC, Freddie Fu Sports Medicine. Congratulations. Good evening. Thank you so much for coming. Respect the past, embrace the future. I think this is my philosophy. So I, I'm an immigrant. I come from Hong Kong, much like Dr. Mussel, come from Germany. So I think this is a country that welcomes immigrants. And you may have a hard time 
understanding me. Maybe this is why Mr. Israel was so happy with me. <laughs> so my family set me up. They are good people. My mom probably giving some genetics of her sports. She played uh, basketball at a tender age. She's now 96 years old and still doing well. My father is a good businessman, and I went to St. Paul's uh, College, Boys College, and my classmate, uh, Mr. Wong Kam Chow, is here with me right now. They just have the 50th anniversary last week, and I couldn't make it. But they were here, like 30 of my classmates back in Hong Kong. But that college allowed me to grow, uh, learn, and also play basketball. And uh, my team was uh, unbeaten in my senior year. Uh, best team uh, in Hong Kong, basically. And this is why they sent me on a boat ride all the way, three, three weeks old, from Hong Kong all the way to San Francisco. And then to Hanover, New Hampshire, which I learned about four seasons. It's cold. <laughs> I never seen snow before. And I think in Dartmouth, uh, they really uh, have um, really educate me and open my eye to some incredible people like Prison Kameny, who uh, wrote a basic language and also was in the Manhattan Project. And Preston actually taught me basic calculus. So it's inspiring. Now, how did I come to Pittsburgh? Because uh, the dean of the medical school is a, a guy named Dean Strickler. And he was born and raised in Mount Lebanon. And he said, well, if you want to do orthopedic, you have to go to Pittsburgh because the most eminent orthopedic surgeon in the world is Professor A.B. Ferguson, Jr., also a Dartmouth graduate. So my wife, Hilda, and I came in 75 and did my medical school and finished in orthopedic training back in 82. Young person that started, what are you going to do, Ferguson? Just go and do your thing, sport medicine. Find, find your way. So one is uh, I get a letter saying that, well, Mount Lebanon need a team doctor. So I went up and interviewed and said, okay, you're in. And I have uh, Coach Walker right here, who was my first coach, and uh, in fact, legendary coach, Art Walker Senior right here. So uh, we won the championship the first year I was there. And the other interesting person that took care of me first year is Lordy Falk. Uh, she embraced me with a ballet, and I was uh, with the ballets for the last 36 years. Also, still taking care of the ballet, and we still taking care of Mount Lebanon with Dr. Moussel. Now, the next question is, how are we going to explain this entity? Dr. Ferguson, very pro supportive. He trained so many people. But how do you convince Mr. Romov and Dr. Detry? And of course, uh, we have Chancellor Posfer. The family is right here in the corner, and he is a big sports person. Rose scholar, loves sports. He is driving force, and he embraced me too, but I tell Mr. Romov, basically, you know, I know that you want to make UPMC famous. The best way to do it is to make sport medicine famous with you. This is the first branding of UPMC, okay? So this is really the story. If you look at, back to the people who talk about it, sport medicine is a branding for UPMC because I told Dr. Detry and Dr. Romov that the post Gazette has a sports page. They have no, no cancer page or transplant page. <laughs> Everybody you look, there's a sports page and people will look at it. So we opened the sports center, first time with um, Mayor Meslov and uh, Rooney's and you know, George Tabor in, in a you know, small warehouse we reopened. But we worked so hard in it that that place is outborn in about 10 years. And with uh, support like uh, John Incenti, we were able to expand. And this is a really incredible project, working with, uh, with the University of Pittsburgh, with uh, Mark Norlingberg, with Mr. Rooney, and with uh, UPMC. We're able to put this together now. I think that to be successful anywhere you go, there are three things you need, three elements. is time, place, or people. Timing is great because UPMC now want to expand into a worldwide entity. And also, Pittsburgh was in trouble because all the steel industry died. And now is a transition 
from a steel tongue to a med ed tongue. And this is the right time to do it. Now you know this is a empty space for 25 years. This was a steel mill. The bridge you crossed was closed for 25 years. <laughs> it was open for us. And with the understanding this is going to be an entity to promote Pittsburgh. Now really, this is a sports center. But you understand in the 90s, Pittsburgh was depressed. So this is a statement really to revitalize the area. Now you can see Cheesecake Factory, all those things around. There's nothing around here. Even the FBI building around here is not, is not here. So it's all around here, OK? They may be listening to us, OK? So, <laughs> <laughs> so with that, you know, we opened this center really as a one-stop shop and with everything included to, you know, for the best care of athletes, and, uh, including research, education, and care. And one of the things we did is concussion. We're the first in the world to include concussion into a sport program. And now Dr. Collins in Ireland right now teaching, so we couldn't be here. But uh, now we have seen like 15,000 you know, uh, you know, people a year and be very, very successful. So I think with that, uh, I must say that in reflection, I think although we start with the joke that this is a branding for UPMC, but with that and the support from Dr. Detry, Romov, UPMC, Pitt, the whole region, now it become a serious academic entity. I would say Pitt may be the first academic center that recognized sport medicine as a true, true serious entity within academic. We have many laboratory, we publish many papers, we collaborate with other, you know, department like Dr. Maroon here, you know, with neurosurgery. Uh, so really attract people from all over the world uh, to come here. And this is, you know, what it's all about. And of course, I, I say that time, people, and place. Now Pittsburgh is an incredible place. I know we are here for a celebration today. But you understand, at noontime, there was a solemn prayer downtown for our you know, mass shooting in our synagogue. So in Pittsburgh, you can be fantastic, but we can also take all the difficult steps and take care of the people themselves. And this is why I think I stay here and my family like to stay here. I have many <laughs> a temptation to be recruited to city like Philadelphia, San Francisco, Los Angeles, even Hong Kong. Every time I go to look at jobs like that, it's big jobs, famous jobs. I say, well, Pittsburgh is better. <laughs> Why should I go? And this is true. This is true. And really, I'm really happy that I can work with, you know, the new, uh, you know, the tech department, Hessler and his whole crew. And of course, I get to know, you know, Chancellor Gallagher and his family. And I'm very uh, tickled that um, they put this, my picture, some of my pictures I took, you know, uh, in the mansion. And by the way, it was uh, the Falk mansion, you know, that one time. Now, I, I also is somebody that um, want to enjoy life. So it's very simple. If you have an iPhone, and if you have a good scenery, you can take a good picture. Now, this picture is, is not simple. It's probably once in a 10 years to have a reflection like that outside. But every morning, every weekend, I would look at the cloud and I say, maybe this is a good place for a picture. So if you see a picture, for me, it's not like simple. It's not like, well, I'm going to just take a picture. It's if you go through the process and, and find it, OK? So this is a really you know, very you know, not, not easy picture. So remember I told you respect the past, which I really think is very important. My family, uh, all the people who took care of me, uh, my basketball coach in high school, Dr. Ferguson, Detry, you know, Ms. Romoff, and the university people. But I, I think the key is uh, how do you embrace the future? And a place like that would definitely attract the best people to work here. And we have the best therapist program, J.R. Gang, who come with me in the very beginning. So it's Brian, and, um, and now Dr. Moussel, and there are many good staff, Dr. Morrow, there are many people, Dr. Vies, and many, many, many good people here, my God. I mean, uh, almost that if people, you know, want to take a 
chairman position somewhere else, there'll be somebody come up to take the place. Now, we have trained more chairmen than anybody else in the world since Dr. Ferguson. He was called the Camelot of Hopi Surgeon. He trained more than 60 chair. And I think since he left, we trained another 20, you know, leaders in the world, you know. So it's, it's a, a place that, you know, n you know, train a lot of good people. So lastly, I want to, you know, thank my wife. Hilda, come on out here. Yeah. Yeah. So with, without my wife, then uh, I, won't, I won't be here because she is the one that really holds everything together. And uh, she's not the one that will agree everything I do. In fact, she will remind that what I did was not quite right and uh, <laughs> see me right. And I think it's important that way because if somebody agrees with everything you do, you probably mess up at a certain time. And of course, I have beautiful kids. They are both born and raised uh, in Prisbrook and McGee. And of, although they now live in New York and Connecticut, but they still look at Pittsburgh, um, you know, as a home. And I uh, really love the Steelers, the Panthers, and all the Penguins, all those teams around us. And thank you very much, Joyce and Gordon, and my grandkids are, are here, too. So uh, with that, I want to thank all of you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Billy Hugo. I know you for all the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and one more word. This is really, although it's called UPMC Freddy Food, I do not believe that this is, you know, my so name center. This is a center for UPMC Pit, and this is a center for the future, for embrace all those people. We can work here, like talking to sell other people. This is what it's all about. If my name can help to attract people, this is fine, but it's not that important. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Back in the 80s, Pitt had a, a lineman and a real character by the name of Anthony Siragusa, better known as the Goose. He had a great pro career, but he was nuts. <laughs> and Pitt is playing at Temple, and in the second quarter, Anthony uh, turned his ankle, and so at halftime, Dr. Fu went to check it, and he gave it a tweak, and Tony screamed in pain and said, blankety blank, Japanese blankety blank, what are you doing? He goes, ha ha. Jokes on you, Mr. Siragusa. I'm not Japanese, I'm Chinese. <laughs> God bless Freddie Fu, and God bless the Fu family. Right? Thank you. Great. So before we wrap up uh, things here, um, we would just ask that uh, as we, before we go to the reception, uh, we wanted to just take a moment of silence to uh, remember our fellow Pittsburghers um, and our friends in California. Uh, who were tragically affected over the last several weeks. Thank you. And we want to thank everyone for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, we want to thank all of the speakers uh, for uh, presenting uh, and coming tonight. I want a special thank you to our planning team who did a fantastic job uh, and worked tirelessly. Uh, so, you know, we have some demonstrations uh, in the gym of some of the new technology we've put into the facility. Uh, we have uh, some of our clinicians back there. Uh, if you're up for a little run, we'll put you on the treadmill. Um, and uh, the bar will be open, food and drink. Um, and uh, please drive safely when you leave. And finally, congratulations, Dr. Fu. Dr. Fu extends his deepest gratitude to his family, friends, colleagues, and patients, without whom the success of the Sports Center would not be possible. Thank you to all those who organized this wonderful celebration and to those who shared their memories of Dr. Fu over the years.